Hi guys, Paul Reese here, DPRS Unlimited. Welcome back to this little series that I'm doing on what to do after you have the saving mentality. Today I would like to introduce you to a new way to spend. Now, um, what does that mean? Now, a lot of people, um, they spend their money wrong. Plain and simple, 95% of the population spends their money incorrectly. Now, what's the correct way to spend your money, you might ask? Um, well, it's, let me put it this way. Now, what most people do, the incorrect way to spend their money, is say they see something they want. Something like a new car, um, a new boat, uh, you know, some kind of new tool, uh, some toy, some, you know, cool clothes, a new air conditioner for their house, a new computer, whatever it may be, okay? They see those things that they want, and they go out and buy them. That's the wrong way to spend your money. Now, what a wealthy person would do, now, like somebody myself, say I wanted to buy a car. Now, I may not necessarily want to wait till I can buy a $30,000 car cash, okay? Um, now, a lot of people may disagree with me on this, but, and I don't agree with getting a loan on a vehicle, uh, because you will lose money on it. But, um, it's something that, you know, might happen every once in a while. So, don't, but, don't go out and just get a loan on a car. I mean, what's that going to do is put a, you know, four or $500 a month debt in your pocket? You know, that's, that's not going to help you out at all. So what I would do is I'd go out and I'd look at the car that I want. I find out how much it's going to cost me if I did get a loan, what a, you know, so down payment, kind of down payment I was going to put on it, do a little bit of research, and say I found a car that I liked that I was going to cost me about $500 a month, and I really wanted it. I'm going to get that car, regardless of whether or not I can buy it in cash. So what I would do is instead of just going out and getting that car, what I would do is I would go out and look for an investment, something to make me $500 a month. Okay, once I found something that can make me $500 a month, I'd take that down payment that I was going to use on that car, and I'd invest. I'd put that money in that investment. Once that investment had earned me back that down payment, I'd go buy that vehicle, and then I'd use the money that I'm earning from that investment to pay for the car, because that's why I bought the investment, was to buy my car. Now, once my car is paid off, I'll still have the money from the investment. So that's why this is a great way to pay money, or a great way to secure your financial freedom. Because every time you want a new toy, you're gonna have to. It's gonna cause you to think harder. Because instead of just going out and buying that new toy, you have to think, what's something that I can invest in? What's some asset that I can buy that'll make me enough money to pay for this new toy of mine? And by doing that, every time you do that, every time you buy a new toy, once that toy is paid for, you still have that money coming in. But you're not using that money that's coming in for another toy. Your next toy, you go get something else. And so you have more money coming in. So every time you go buy yourself a new toy now, you have more monthly money coming in. Now, most people, when they go out and buy themselves a new toy, they have less money coming in every month. You yourself, since you have this new way to spend of going out and buying an asset every time you want to buy a toy and using your asset to pay for your toy, since you have that way of spending, every time you go buy yourself a new toy, you're going to make yourself money every month. Makes it a fun way to spend money, guys. Um, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel below if you want more information like this. This has been Paul Reese with DPRS Unlimited, the little guy helping the little guy. See you back here next time.